In most of our local primary schools they have very limited um, science equipment or actually even a science lab. A lot of their science is pretty much done from textbooks. Um, they might do very mini experiments but they've really not had exposure to you know, the Bunsen burners, the, the chemicals, all those exciting things where they have to wear the safety glasses which is all brand new and exciting to the students. So um, yeah, a lot of primary schools, even if they do have those facilities, the teachers aren't confident to actually use them to their fullest potential as well. So, so it's been a really steep learning curve for the students and they've really enjoyed it. Well, we received a 14 classroom, state-of-the-art new building. Integrated technology, lots of flexible learning areas, learning spaces, uh, lots of um, uh, informal and formal teaching and learning areas incorporated into it and a beautiful flow of the buildings into the external environment. So it really provides a wonderful complement to our other capital works programs in the school and also um, provides a wonderful learning environment for young adults. Not having had Year 7s at the school before meant that some people had some hesitation so I had to look at how to help the staff, the students and the parents in that transition to the school. So it was quite a big role with over 300 students coming into the school in our first year of Year 7s. So I've just started a program called PGC which is Personal Growth and Citizenship. It's run one period a week by both their science teachers and their HASS. HASS is Humanities and Social Sciences and they uh, go through uh, different topics based on resiliency, based on getting to know you, based on uh, dealing with anxiety, all sorts of issues uh, related to the well-being of the student uh, and it's taught by, as I said, by uh, two different departments um, but brings it all together and they can see how important it is to be a good person and uh, a future ready citizen. We have five periods and we shift around um, from this building to the science building sometimes and back and different teachers. Well, the Year 7 building provides a hub for these students. Uh, each of our year groups in the school has their own hub, their own central area, their focal point where they gather, where they receive information, where they socialise together. And the Year 7 building provides that for our youngest intake. Um, as well as that, the building is used for uh, classrooms in many learning areas. The students do go to specialist facilities in other parts of the school as their timetable requires, but as far as possible, just for this year, we have kept them in one central area as far as possible. Um, the Year 7s have really surprised me how quickly they have adapted. Um, it's been a really exciting way um, watching them actually um, turn from primary school students at the beginning of the year where they're very young compared to our Year 8s. It's been um, quite a learning curve because they are so much different to our Year 8s. Um, but it's actually been really surprising how quickly they adapted to, um, to high school. Um, when, they first, when I first spoke to them, they told me about some of their worries about coming to high school. Things like getting lost, finding their classroom, um, scary teachers, all those kinds of things. But it was really evident that by the end of the first week they were finding their way around, no problems at all. Um, by the volume of the, the noise and the smiles that I see in the playground, they found their friends really quickly. So, so it's been a really um, good, positive experience to them starting high school. Well, speaking for our school, we're very pleased with the transition of the Year 7s to high school. Um, all our indicators, the key indicators of success, the students' academic performance, uh, attendance, behaviour, uh, adaptability to the routines of high school and to a high school curriculum, all of those indicators are that our students have made an effective transition. Uh, it's a lot better, everyone's more happy than it used to be, it's more fun and sociable. Because they are younger, they're not the same as a year eight, they're not just a younger version, of it. they're different and they're going through different things in their life. So um, having all of these programs in place such as the PGC, the mindfulness program, wellbeing and parts of their uh, health studies as well, all of that comes together to help them on their way.